This is Lamia Lahoud for InfoLife TV speaking to UN Special Coordinator Elvaro de Soto in Jerusalem about the UN ceasefire agreement between Israel and Lebanon. What is needed for this to succeed from the side of the Lebanese government and Hezbollah and the side of Israel? Well, they have to agree uh, not just to the first step, which is a cessation of hostilities, but also to the other steps that are provided for in the resolution. Resolution 1559 spoke of a certain number of steps which have been taken with respect to Syrian personnel in, in Lebanon, but it also spoke about the Lebanese government asserting uh, its sovereignty and control over all its territories and deployment of their armed forces throughout its territory and particularly in the south. And they are about to do that, and I think that that is a, a momentous step. We expect that uh, Hezbollah uh, should be satisfied with the arrangements that are provided in the resolution, which would assert that only Lebanese forces may be in the south, as well as uh, UNIFIL, and that Israel will withdraw, because all of those things are to happen simultaneously. I think for Israel the main concern is weapons to Hezbollah, and I suppose that for the Lebanese government that's quite a concern too, anything happening on that front? Well, I'm not in a position to tell you about that, but what I can tell you is that the Security Council resolution expects all concerned, whether they are Lebanese or Israelis or other states, uh, to adhere to the terms of the resolution, which uh, consist, among other things, of precisely stopping supplies of uh, military uh, material. And we are uh, increasing our personnel sevenfold there. It can be up to 15,000 as compared with the current uh, 2,000. If someone tries to prevent them from carrying out their mandate, they are authorized to carry out as necessary forceful action. Do you believe that this will help the government of Lebanon to actually act as a government? at this point? That is certainly our strong hope, our devout hope. Israel has made it very clear right from the beginning that uh, what they uh, hoped for was that the government of uh, Lebanon should discharge its responsibilities. What about the soldiers? You said that there might that there would be some kind of negotiation over the soldiers that were kidnapped. Is this going to be in some kind of UN framework? Is this going to be between well, the government of Lebanon and it, his border? I, I'd rather not go into that. I can only tell you that we hope that they will be freed uh, very early without awaiting uh, and without making them part of any uh, negotiation. The Sheba farms, because this is always coming up, is this part of Lebanese territory or Syrian territory? Adjustments to the blue line under the resolution that, uh, that certified the, the withdrawal of uh, Israel have to uh, involve uh, all parties concerned, but it's primarily uh, Lebanon and Syria, yes. Are there any discussions right now with the Lebanese what to do to help them to rebuild their infrastructure? To you know, is, is there anything that the United Nations can do to help Lebanon in that respect? Well, the Security Council devotes uh, a, an entire paragraph to encouraging the international community to assist uh, the government of Lebanon in rebuilding uh, the country, to get it back where it was only five weeks uh, ago. Thank you very much. No, it's all my pleasure.